Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of October 29th through November 4th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, Aquarius, what's going on? Um, I feel like there's a lot of things happening here. Um, the energy is strong. It's strong. It's heavy. Um, you know, I can't quite sugarcoat it even if I wanted to because none of the cards here will allow me to do that. So I'm just going to be very transparent and just read what I'm seeing. All right, so... Um, it feels like you have a lot on your plate, a lot on your mind, a lot of things to think about, a lot of things to do, and maybe not enough time to do all of them, right? Maybe even not enough time for yourself just to breathe. Some of you are dealing with either the loss of something, some sort of sadness, or just stress. It's almost like you're so stressed or you're so tired that you feel sad. And I don't know if this is something you can relate to, Some definitely something I can relate to. Um, I am an Aquarius rising, for those of you that don't know. But sometimes, you know, you feel so stressed out that you start to feel kind of like, you know, down, right? So it feels like that's the energy that I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius. We have Five of Cups, Seven of Wands, Temperance, and the Seven of Cups. It's almost like analysis paralysis when you have too many choices and so you don't know which one to pick. You kind of just freeze and you're a little bit paralyzed for a second. Now, for those of you that are like, man, this is so negative or this doesn't resonate, then this may not be the reading for you. I recommend you check your other placements. For those of you that are kind of like, okay, this is my energy, then, you know, um, just keep that in mind. I read intuitively, but also I'm not going to pick up on everyone. This is a general reading. But with that being said, a lot of you are realizing something about a either a relationship or just some sort of truth within your life. You're kind of having to really accept something and that could be what's giving you this feeling of sadness, right? Sometimes when we have to face the truth, it's not always what we want to hear or it's not always pleasant. And so we get to kind of this point of, man, wasn't expecting that. Uh, but the thing is that now with the truth, you know, that's something that you can use to your advantage. This temperance is, of course, kind of wanting to emphasize that this too shall pass. This is not a permanent situation. And in fact, this could be a transformational moment in your life even if it looks the way that it does right even if it's not the most pleasant even if it's stressful or overwhelming um you know this is about the transformation this is where it starts so the seven of cups you could be seeing yourself with a lot more opportunities or options in the future because you may be letting something go and so you're making space for more you know so uh let's see let's go ahead and clarify the seven of cups All right, we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck. So um, definitely feels like something is coming to the light, right? Someone here has been holding back or withholding information or just kind of keeping things to themselves, maybe trying to figure something out. Um, I feel like someone realized, realized what they really want and maybe what they really want is not the collective um, choice or it's not like the group preference right maybe you're in a situation with multiple people or maybe this is between you and someone that you care about it's like you have decided after thinking and really you know introspect um you know through introspection you've been really considering what it is that you want out of something and maybe that realization doesn't fit with the mold right maybe somebody here wouldn't agree with you um, and you're just like, you know what, even though this may not be uh, the answer that they want, I have to do what's right for me. And I feel like with time, you'll realize that you made the right decision because for some reason, you're going to be avoiding the awful feeling that is regret, right? By you choosing to do what's right for you, you're not going to regret that, right? You will regret, however, not going with your soul, not going with your intuition and doing what you feel is going against your nature. And so I think that the universe is trying to foreshadow the fact that you're making the right decision right now, even if it's painful, even if it doesn't feel right. 
We have Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, and Judgment. Your judgment about the situation is going to change, right? It's going to evolve with time. Uh, but also, as you start to see things go your way, as you start to feel happier, as you start to feel more at ease and relieved because you made the right choice, you're not going to feel the same way about it the way that you do now. And that's something about life that I think a lot of us don't realize. In the moment when we're making a difficult decision, it doesn't feel that great, right? But afterwards, we start to realize, wow, I'm so glad I made that choice. Universe is wanting to give you that kind of foreshadowing in this moment because it feels how much you're like, man, this is sucks, right? This is not fun. It feels how much you're fighting this choice, but it's wanting to tell you you're going to make the right one. Do not fall back on this, right? So Six of Cups, this, this definitely feels like it has to do with a personal relationship. Sometimes our emotions get in the way of the things that we need to do for ourselves, right? Our connections, our attachments. Um, universe doesn't want you to have any regrets. That's that's basically what this is about. The universe does not want you to regret this decision. So um, let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Wands. And we have the star at the bottom of the deck, which is your energy. So that is confirmation in and of itself. Uh, but to further clarify the Seven of Wands, we have Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Six of Swords. So not only are you going to be feeling a lot more hopeful as you start to realize that you've made the right decision, but there's also something about your intuition that really needs to be kind of like put to the light. Some of you have a gut feeling that this is going to work out, but until you see it happen, you may not trust it. Universe is saying, let the work happen or let the teamwork prove to you that it is going to be successful for some reason i feel like you're waiting for someone to give you a response or work with you in this decision and they are going to right you're going to move forward um however you need to trust your intuition it's almost like the universe is saying unless you fully trust um your gut feeling it's not going to work right it's like a divine test of you know um of faith, of trust, of, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's like, it's going to work out no matter what. Whoever is in this with you, they want to see you thrive. They want to be a part of your success and they are going to do their part. Um, again, things are moving forward, but it's almost like you have to believe it before you see it. It's like universe is wanting to give you the opposite of that phrase, right? Normally we hear you have to see it to believe it. Universe is like, you have to believe it before you see it because that is true faith that is true manifestation that is like true belief of the self so well a lot of deep messages it's almost that like i can't even quite do it justice let's go ahead and clarify the temperance three of swords yeah some of you could be anticipating the worst case scenario right maybe you're thinking well in time it could get it could be good but it could also get worse right right now you have the um the negative kind of taking over that thought process that's really what it looks like so there's two options right in time things will be better or they will be worse you're thinking about the worst part a little bit more and that's what the universe is trying to change right it's trying to kind of shift that perspective ace of pentacles there's a major opportunity here for things to improve as a matter of fact and to further clarify temperance, we have the Magician, the Sun, and the Queen of Swords. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty much confirming things are going to be fine, right? They're going to be great. The Magician, you've manifested, you've worked this, you've worked on this for quite some time, right? This is yours for the taking. Queen of Swords, you have to believe in the, you know, rules that you set, right? If you've made part of this um, situation possible, if you have established the foundation, you need to believe in that foundation. You need to give yourself credit where it's due. Honestly, I feel like this is just a one, one big beautiful foreshadowing to the thing that you are looking forward to the most. And I really hope that you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.